County Extension Agent Brad Runzik, and uh, today we're talking uh, fall army worm uh, scouting and control. Um, I'm in a field up just about as close to the Arkansas Missouri state line as one can get, um, looking for some army worms in this field that is uh, mostly Johnson grass and some Bermuda grass, a little bit of clover, fescue, a few weeds, a little bit of everything. So one thing that we use to look for army worms is just a one by one square, one foot by one foot, uh, just a four one foot pieces of PVC with four elbows and you can make yourself one pretty pretty easily. Here's a little bit of a close up of the uh, critter in question. If you'll notice the um, sort of upside down Y or a V on top of his head, black head, um, that's kind of a telltale sign that he's a fall army worm. As you can see, uh, just from a quick glance, it doesn't appear that there's much of any problem here. But um, as we dig a little bit deeper, we're going to see that down in the deep, deeper layers of this uh, thatch, um, that, that, uh, that thatch material layer that's right against the ground, uh, we're going to see that we've got quite a few army worms. A general rule of thumb is if we see that on average we have more than three uh, caterpillars per square foot, then that is enough to justify spraying it. And so maybe we can see this on the video, but uh, there's one, two, there's a large one, three, four, and there's probably a few more in this plot that uh, having a hard time seeing. So let's check another square foot. You want to do this several times because they may be more concentrated in certain areas of the field more so than others. And again, just at first glance, I can count one, two, there's a third one, there's a fourth one. Fall army worms often prefer Bermuda grass, but as you can see, they're having a pretty good time on this Johnson grass as well. Many, many worms. Most of these are uh, past the stage that um, would be ideal for an insecticide application. They've done most of their damage already. But nonetheless, they'll have another generation coming along before too long if their natural enemies don't catch up with them first. Fall army worms can be sprayed with either a boom sprayer um, or a single nozzle, cluster nozzle type sprayer. Um, some insecticide options include uh, Lambda Psi Halothrin, which most folks know as just Lambda Psi. There is the generic Lambda Psi as well as many other brand names. It does require a private applicator license to purchase in Arkansas. Um, it is also probably the cheapest option at under $4 per acre uh, for control. Other options include um, seven, seven um, products, um, ADS and XLR Plus, uh, do not require a license, although those can take a couple to three days to work. The longest residual um, product out there is probably, probably something that contains chlorantranilaprole. Um, that would be found in Prevathon or Besiege or Corrigin. Uh, those insecticides provide uh, couldn't be as much as two weeks of control. However, those do come at a higher cost, more like 12 to $15 per acre. As always, make sure that your sprayer is properly calibrated um, and that you're sitting on ready and uh, ready to scout fields and, and uh, make the application once it's uh, justified. So if you have uh, any more questions, if you need help identifying army worms or you need uh, help deciding if there's enough to justify an application, or maybe you just need your sprayer calibrated. Uh, don't hesitate to give us a call at the Fulton County Extension Office at 870-895-3301.